If you encounter a fatal error while playing Atomic Heart, there are several solutions you can try to fix the problem. These solutions are provided as a general guide and may not work for all players. It is recommended to try each solution in order, as some may be more effective than others. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who has the same issue so that we can help them too. Once you're done, let's begin. Solution 1. Verify Game Files If you are encountering a fatal error in Atomic Heart, one of the first things you should do is verify the game files. This will ensure that all game files are properly installed and up to date. To do this, open Steam and navigate to your library. Right-click on Atomic Heart and select Properties. Select the Local Files tab, click the Verify Integrity of Game Files button. Wait for the process to complete and try launching the game again. Solution 2. Update Graphics Card Drivers Outdated graphics card drivers can cause fatal errors in games including Atomic Heart. To update your graphics card drivers, open the Start menu and search for Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapters section. Right-click on your graphics card and select Update Driver. Choose the option to search for updated drivers automatically. Wait for the process to complete and try launching the game again. Solution 3. Disable Overclocking If you have overclocked your CPU or GPU, this can cause stability issues in games including Atomic Heart. To disable overclocking, Restart your computer and enter the BIOS setup menu, usually by pressing a key like F2 or Delete during startup. Locate the overclocking settings and reset them to their default values. Save and exit the BIOS setup menu. Try launching the game again. Solution 4. Reinstall the game. If none of the earlier solutions work, you may need to reinstall Atomic Heart. This will ensure that all game files are properly installed and up to date. To do this, open Steam and navigate to your library. Right click on Atomic Heart and select Uninstall. Wait for the process to complete. Download and install the game again. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share it to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this to others.